The, the important thing is to see that the 5% uh, rate, which we've had for a very long time when the rates have been well below uh, for 10 years, has been exclusive for pensioners, mm. right? What we're doing now is, in effect, uh, in order to fund projects that are going to be done with the private sector, and some may have a funding shortage, and if the project is one that I am satisfied is going to help us in either the resilience or the self-sufficiency, mm. which are the two categories that are most important in the period that we are now of uh, not being sure where we're going to be in a couple of months' time, mm. uh, then uh, any shortfall, the savings bank will come in and people will know that the funding is going to come from that particular dementia. Uh, that has two advantages. One is that we're giving a higher rate uh, that has not been available uh, before to people other than pensioners. And secondly, that uh, the argument that people put their money in the savings bank, which has been used by the opposition, which is quite a ridiculous argument, but they use it as if people put it in the savings bank. And the savings bank was supposed to put it in a safe and not use it. Well, there is no banking institution in the world that can pay interest unless it deploys it. The guarantee that the savings bank has got will cover and give confidence and security to the money being there. And the people who put the money will know that what we're doing is going to be mm. uh, uh, in investments that are absolutely essential for the protection of Gibraltar mm. against the future uncertainties that we're facing, uh, which may go one way or another and may be dependent on what happens after the election of we, Spain. You mentioned this uncertainty and the resilience. Yeah. Um, I mean, where does this resilience come from? You've mentioned training local workers for roles that need to be filled, but given that there is very low unemployment, well, where do these workers come well, from? Well, I'll tell you what, we have to accept that, I mean, the, the, in 2019, mm. I announced that the policy of the GSLP was changing, we were going in a different direction. And I said today that that new different direction is consistent with uh, recent research by OECD, mm. and I also mentioned that it is consistent with the need to do something about climate change. Mm. So instead of saying, which is what was happening with the GSD for 15 years and which we continue doing, which was every year the economy goes, gets bigger because we employ more people. Well, the fact is that it's not real Growth, if, you, if there are two of us in this room mm. and we produce a hundred pounds worth of output and we then bring two more people and then it goes up to 200, the per capita output has not changed. Mm. So we need to find more ways of increasing efficiency, which means we create more wealth without more people. Or we create the same wealth with less people. So. Uh, I think that something I need to correct in what you said initially, it's not that the number of frontier workers uh, uh, is less. It is it's that the ratio, the ratio it, it's, it's, a, it's a ratio mm. after 2018 mm. compared to the ratio before 2018. So okay. since the target is to get back to 2018, what I've done and what I explained in Parliament is I've said, well, look, let's look at the four years before 2018 and the four years after 2018. And it's quite dramatic. In the four years before, 57% uh, of the jobs were frontier workers or, or uh, even a higher percentage than that, and a minority was local. And then when we've done it for the years after, there's been more resident workers and less frontier workers. That may well be because new hammers into the economy mm -hmm are no longer comfortable with going and living in Spain because of the uncertainty about whether they'd be able to cross to come into work. So they're taking residence in Gibraltar.